Hey, this week I want to tell you a story. It's really, really cold, so let's go back to the studio. Oops, thank you. Well, I'm sorry, so I think what's that? The camera. Oh, I thought it was a night. I thought it had a little gimbal on it for a moment. So. Rui had in the, a huge club anthem, which he was living in the beat at the time, which just was, went stratospheric. Oh, uh, wow. And it's still being played today. Well, right, come on, let's go. Have a lovely evening. Bye. 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 Yes, so this is a story of a record I made almost 20 years ago, but it's getting really late. And um, I'll tell you the story on my way to the gig. Early 2000s, I was in London and uh, was walking past the Piccadilly Circus when I saw this girl singing. And she was literally singing on a street just outside this place. But that's not the story of tonight. The story I want to tell you starts actually early this year. I've received a phone call from these guys, Bloomsbury Street Kitchen, and they wanted to do a lounge party for their new restaurant. They wanted to do a live performance of Touch Me with Beverly Knight singing. But that's now also not the story that I want to tell you this week. The story is that last year, at the end of the summer, I received a call from a very famous DJ. His name's Pitong. He was putting together a new show and he wanted to do a cover version of Touch Me. He wanted to do a cover version for 65 people to play on stage at the O2 Arena in front of 10,000 people in London. And that's where we're going tonight. So join me in. This look like five minutes.
up for Beverly Knight. Everybody left, look. We're still here waiting for someone. Ready? Ready to go. So this is it. What started as an underground record in my East London studio almost 20 years ago after a night out in Piccadilly Circus where I saw this girl singing went on to become a number one selling record in the UK played by all DJs around the world is now being performed at the O2 Arena one of the leading venues for live music in the world by Pete Tong and the Heritage Orchestra sung by the incredible Beverly Knight I hope you enjoyed this story and it inspires you to make music let me know in the comments below Happy New Year is now 2020 and I look forward to see you guys on the next episode. Fire, we wouldn't be able to find a